everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we're gonna to talk about that brand new update or the patch to your performance and security, mostly evolving around the fingerprint reader for the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10 series. Now, if you're not familiar with this update and why it was pushed out or what it looks like and what it does, Basically what's happened was there was a few people that was able to have almost anybody unlock their phone while using a very cheap screen protector, one that's made of silicone and gel. It kind of has a little bit of a residue or a cover or film inside of the screen itself. So Samsung pushed off a patch update. And so we're gonna pretty much go over that right now. So switching down to the phone, exactly what you'll see in your notifications panel is this, biometrics update, performance and security tap here to update so definitely do this update as soon as you can so this right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read it but then I'm gonna do a short answer at the end of this of exactly what happened uh, why it happened and I'll probably use words that Samsung legally cannot. So performance and security has been uh, improved. This is a software patch related to fingerprint recognition. Number one, about the issue. If you've used a screen cover, such as a silicone cover with a textured surface on the inside, the texture itself may be recognized as a fingerprint that can unlock your phone, which what this means is that the texture on the inside, you know, underneath that little gel or silicone screen protector that you purchased, that kind of has a little uh, fingerprinty type of a look. There's, there's lines and textures underneath that could act as a fingerprint. And so when you put your, your thumbprint down, it feels the heat. It's actually reading the inside of the, of the screen itself, not your fingerprint. So really it's evolving right around the cheap ones. So if you purchase a very, very, very cheap screen protector, that's what's happening. So the update instructions, all users should tap update below, then restart the phone once the update is complete. Additionally, if you've registered or scanned your fingerprint with a screen cover on your phone, remove all of the fingerprints and register them again without using a cover. Uh, and then for the notes, make sure that there's a there's no screen cover on your phone when you register a fingerprint. You may not be able to register or scan your fingerprints if you use a screen cover. We recommend that you don't use a screen cover, especially any cover with a textured surface on the inside. When registering, uh, scan your fingerprint in its entirety, uh, including all corners, and contact Samsung customer service if you have any questions. So we're gonna go through and tap on update. So really let's talk about why this popped up. What happened was, was somebody purchased a $4 silicone screen protector. It's more of a gel screen protector placed onto the phone. It's not one that's made of real tempered glass. So the ones that I am actually using on my phone here is Whitestone Dome Glass. It's the only screen protector or tempered glass that I would ever recommend. It's the only one that I personally use. So I'll also place links below the video if you guys are looking for the Whitestone Dome glass again it's the only one I use and the only one I'd suggest because you'll never run into this situation you'll never run into this issue now if you've used a normal tempered glass one that you're paying 30 40 50 dollars for you're gonna probably be fine the only ones that I've found that has that textured surface on the inside is the cheap screen protectors that you're purchasing on Craigslist or Amazon for three, four, or five dollars. Please don't purchase anything for your phone. If it's a thousand dollar device, don't buy something to protect your screen that costs four or five dollars. You'll run into this issue, which makes Samsung have to put out a patch and have to get all this stuff fixed and everything else. So again, uh, if you are using one of those cheap ones, take it off right away. Uh, update your phone, restart your phone, and reset up your fingerprint. So how about we go through and we actually set up the fingerprint. So, so how about we head right back over and let's reset up a fingerprint. So let's say that I just restarted my phone. You wanna go underneath your biometrics and security, click on fingerprints, type in your code. Once you're inside of there, you'll basically press and hold on any of them that you have set up. So I have mine set up for the right. You're gonna go through and add your fingerprint in. So I'm gonna give you a little tip on how you're able to get this thing set up. First off, hold the phone as if you would normally hold onto it. So hold onto it like this, but then also rotate. So it states in the notes that you wanna hit every single corner of your thumb. And so this right here will help you. Uh, another way is that if you place your phone actually upside down on a table and you go to unlock because maybe you are handing your phone over to someone else. 
Then you also want to hold it right there uh, on a table because maybe your phone is sitting on a table and you would like to unlock it as it's sitting down. So really just kind of, you know, rotate it, place it down. Uh, you're really covering all the angles that you would unlock the phone. Now, once you are done and finished with setting up your fingerprint, you're gonna hit on done. Uh, I'm gonna go on the very top. I'm gonna rename this as right because this one is with setup with my right thumb. If I set up a secondary one, then I'd be able to you know, set it up as left. And then once we go back out of the phone, when you go back in, uh, pretty much however you set it up, it's going to unlock. Now, one more fast tip is that when you actually you know, unlock your phone, give it a press. You don't have to hold it there. Just give it a press and it'll actually unlock for you. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out, kind of understood exactly what happened. To recap, the only people running into this issue is those who purchase cheap ass screen protectors. So basically the word Samsung can't use, don't purchase shitty ass stuff. Don't buy things that are $3, $4 for a thousand dollar phone. That's what's causing the issue. If you're looking at your, your glass screen and it's not just a straight up piece of glass and you can see that there's lines and like a cover, there's something on the inside that just doesn't look clean. When you put your finger on there, it's reading that uh, pattern, not your fingerprint. So I hope that this has kind of helped you guys out. Uh, basically, it's kind of like that Philip D, you know, Philip DeFranco. Don't be stupid, stupid. Buy something that protects your phone. Uh, and again, I would suggest the Whitestone Dome Glass. Uh, it's a straight up just piece of glass that goes onto the phone and it's being adhesed to the screen with the loca, the adhesive that drips onto your, your phone. It's completely clear. It's a liquid that, that basically dries up when you put the UV light on top of it. And there you go, you'll never run into those issues. Uh, nobody else but me can unlock this phone and I've had the screen protector on it since the day of the launch. But I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.